Uh, you can drive it all the way, but uh, oh yeah, I have to see it. <laughs> never looked. You never looked. <laughs> I'm good, taking a good look here. We can drive it as well. Do not drive away, mate. Just let it stand here. Yeah, let it stand here. Okay, I'm so curious to try it. <laughs> but I yeah, won't. I understand. <laughs> 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 it's nothing special really, it's just uh, just a mobile garrison basically. Alright, if you start driving, call me, I'll hop in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roger that. <laughs> yeah, you're dropping some supplies in the Billa Billa garrison and gonna be driving away. Yeah, we, we have actually What's with us. The um, oh, well, I, I already ordered in drop, it's coming down, so. Oh, okay, fine, nice. I hear a tank. Tank on mapping. Oh, it's a new Panzer. Panzer 4. Man, that's awesome. Okay, we're driving away now. If you want to tag along. I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. Nice. I'll tell my squad I'm going for a drive. <laughs> There's a 40 mil. Uh... No incoming shots. Yeah, but we should not be able to be uh, damaged in here. Uh, it would be awesome if they get guns later on. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you see, but they, they can't actually hurt us. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Fuck off, bitches! <laughs> Welcome back to a new video, guys. So, first of all, my apologies for not uploading for a while. I actually didn't have an internet connection for quite some time. However, I'm back online and I also managed to rearrange my work situation so that I have more time for YouTube now. This means from now on more videos will follow. So today I wanted to talk about the current state of the half tracks in Hell Let Loose. I'm quite curious to hear your opinion as there is surprisingly little talk in the community about the half tracks. And that's also the reason I wanted to make this video. Please note that these are my own personal impressions. The half tracks were added to the game a few months ago with the new update. I was really excited for these. As I mentioned in previous videos, I like Hell Let Loose for quite a specific reason. Many of the games I play are competitive. I used to play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege and for the last year I've played a lot of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition as well. The fun for me in these games is based on getting better and improving constantly. I like Hell Let Loose for a different reason though. In this game you have less control over the outcome of a match as an individual soldier, but the fun part for me is that it's a huge war you're a part of, and there are many different mechanics that make a match unpredictable. Especially combined with the constant voice communication, you really get sucked into it and you feel like you're part of a war, a really immersive one compared to other games. During a match many things can happen. You can encounter an enemy squad and a machine gun position during a flank you're trying to set up, Enemy bombing runs can suddenly shake the battlefield. You can build anti-tank cannons and blast the enemies from tree lines. Someone can be screaming for a medic and random people join in a stupid roleplay. You can engage enemy armor from behind and try to place a satchel on it. An enemy supply truck might appear behind your lines and you need to keep the enemy from building a garrison. These moments make Hell at Loose great in my opinion. This brings me to the half tracks. The reason that I was looking forward to them was that it adds more variables to the mix. I expected mechanized infantry squads to roam the battlefield and having intense battles with anti-tank units, blowing up half-tracks, watching out for enemy half-tracks flanking your position and being able to quickly move with your own half-track to a different location. In practice however, it doesn't exactly play out this way. So what's going on? In most recent matches I have played, I didn't see a single half-track being used during the entire game. Occasionally there's one being used and left behind somewhere in a remote spot in the map. This got me thinking and I realized they don't have a good place in the meta. For instance, if you want to use it as a way of transport for your squad, there are downsides. Firstly, they are expensive. At a cost of 300 fuel, it's an expensive toy driving into the front line. If you want to set up a flank, it might be a better idea to just grab a transport truck or join a recon vehicle as a squad leader and drop an outpost somewhere. And on top of that, friendly players have a tendency to just grab the half tracks and then drive off. This can be incredibly frustrating after the commander just spawned one in for you and you drove all the way from the HQ spawn. The main usage of the half tracks is their ability to act as a spawn point for your team, so it's basically a garrison on wheels. However, there are great alternatives that cost a lot less. 
A supply truck has only 100 fuel and drops two supply crates of 150 supplies each. You can build two garrisons with these and still have lots left for resource nodes and other stuff. So it's much better to just use these supply trucks. In case you want to get behind enemy lines quickly and the extra armor seems useful, why don't you just ask the commander to drop an airhead instead? It's much safer and faster. And again, if you do use the half track, your teammate can just drive off with your mobile garrison. That's fucked up. I think these are the main reasons they are a bit awkward in the meta right now. Since they are also invisible in most matches, I assume most players don't even know they exist in the first place. The devs are probably aware that the half tracks could use some tweaking. There are plans to add machine guns on top of them, which could make their role more useful. If it's a more powerful version of the current LMGs with significant power to suppress the enemy, this could add to their usability. In my opinion, the half tracks should be a bigger part of the battle. There should be a good excuse for them to be in the front line so that it adds to all the random moments that happen. It would be awesome if it would be commonplace to see entire squads being transported by a half track. Imagine holding down a position and suddenly two half tracks full of soldiers roll in, yelling at your anti tank and splattering two enemy squads into pieces. Or driving up to the enemy strong point in a half track yourself with all the banter going on with your team. This would really add a lot to the game, in my opinion. Maybe the ability to act as a garrison should be removed and instead the machine gun should be added with armored protection for the gunner. Or there should be different variants of it available, one without weapons that does act as a garrison and one weaponized version. This way you will see them more widely used on the battlefield and it could make Hell It Loses gameplay a bit more interesting. A weaponized version could be quite useful to remove the mortar teams that most likely will come to the game in the future. I don't know, they're just a bit underwhelming at the moment. Of course I'm still happy they are in the game and generally I think Hell Loose could use a bit more transport vehicles such as a jeep for the commander. So what do you guys think? Are you having fun with the half tracks and do you think they are in the right place? Or do you agree with me that they still need considerable tweaking? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. From now on I will upload more videos than before, so please stay tuned and consider subscribing and have a great day.